often referred to as a flipper or a turner, a metal spatula is an essential kitchen tool and Adam's here to tell us more. We have two different styles of metal spatulas as you can see. Yes. This group here are all fish spatulas. Aha. You can tell because it's got a slightly longer and slotted head. It's also tapered in shape and they are sort of the darling of the restaurant kitchen. Mm -hmm. Also our favorite in the test kitchen. The second group are more conventional metal spatulas. Mm -hmm. You can see that the heads are shorter and squarer. So we have 10 total. The price range was $4.50 up to about $50. Ooh. Not for one of these spatulas. So our testing squadron used all of these models to turn over pancakes and eggs. Also big hefty half pound pub burgers, mm. nice wide delicate fish fillets that were pan frying and home fries. They were all in various pans and skillets of different sizes from compact to spacious. They also used them to transfer sugar cookies off of a hot baking sheet onto a wire rack. And then a second group with different dominant hands also used them to turn over pancakes just to see how they worked for lefties and righties. Hmm. Let's talk about the business end or the head <laughs> first. So the fish spatulas as a group have longer heads that are tapered. The average length was about five and a half inches. And that was great for providing support for all kinds of wider foods like the pancakes or the fish fillets. It wasn't necessarily the case with these that have the shorter, stubbier heads. The average was about four inches. Pick up that one, for instance. All right. What happened there is if the testers got a little too vigorous when they were moving a pancake or a mm -hmm. cookie, sometimes it hit the back of the head and got a little dent in it. Oh yeah, that is quite a distinct angle right there yeah. on the handle. Now, while you have that one, another issue was how flexible or rigid yes. these things were. Check out the flexibility. Just try and bend that. There's none. <laughs> exactly. I'm really having to press pretty hard. That one was really hard, and that made it a little trickier to maneuver under delicate foods. Mm -hmm. And then there's this one. Why don't you try that? All right. Ooh, that's a flexible spatula. That one is a little too flexible for most of our testers. It's 0.2 millimeters thick. Easy to maneuver under delicate foods, but sometimes it buckled when you got a really heavy pub burger on there. Now why don't you try this? This is the fish spatula. Perfect. Isn't that nice? The fish spatulas sort of hit that sweet spot in terms of rigidity and flexibility. They were about 0.8 to 0.9 millimeters thick. That was great for sliding under delicate foods, yep. but also gave enough support for heavier foods. Mm -hmm. The handles were also important on spatulas, mm -hmm. and I want you to try that one down at the very end. All right. Well, the handle's fine, but it feels like the spatula head's in a different county. <laughs> exactly that's just, that's what the too testers far. thought. The testers thought that the longer ones of the conventional spatulas were just too long. They were mm -hmm. eight to nine inches long, and it put their hands too far away from the action. Try that one. Yeah, it's perfect. Your hand's well away from the heat source, but it's close enough so you can actually maneuver the spatula where you need it to be. And all of these fish spatulas handles were between four and a half and five inches long. And that was, again, a sweet spot for our testers. Gotcha. So you are, in fact, holding our winning spatula. Yeah. That's the Wusthof Gourmet 12-inch fish spatula. It's about $50. Ooh, all right. So it's an investment, it's but definitely. you buy it once and you buy it right. It's definitely an investment. This was our previous winner. However, right on its heels was mm. this guy. Testers also named this one as a best buy. It's the MIU France Flexible Fish Turner Slotted. It's about $17. Ooh, that's so a big savings. It's a lot less expensive than the winner, and it was second only to the winner. It performed almost as well, so you can save a couple of bucks there. Yeah, I do like the feel of this one a bit better, though. You have champagne taste, Julia. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> so there you have it. The fish spatulas take the day. And our winner is the Wusthof Gourmet 12-inch fish spatula, and it runs about $50, but we do have a good runner-up. It's the MIU France Flexible Fish Turner Slotted, and it'll cost only $17. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.